Hi, I'm Dr. Vora. I'm the Chairman and Medical Director of Emergency Medicine at Orange Regional Medical Center. Here to talk to you today about heat-related emergencies. Temperature's hot out, okay? It's quite humid as well. So there are a couple of things that you can do to reduce your chances of getting affected by heat emergencies like heat exhaustion and heat stroke. First, stay out of the sun. Avoid the sun as much as you can, but if you have to be out, make sure that you're wearing loosely fit clothing that's thinly layered and you hydrate. And when I say hydrate, I mean over eight cups of water, okay? And remember, coffee, sodas, uh, teas, they don't count, okay? Those are dehydrating things. So we wanna make sure that you're drinking things like water, Gatorade, or vitamin water. Those are some quick things that you can do. Extremes of age, people over the age of 65 are more prone to illness, especially heat-related illness. So I would suggest you take it easy, stay indoors, Air conditioning is key or a fan. If you don't have access to air conditioning, I strongly suggest you go to a family member or a friend's place where you can ride out the heat wave. And of course, if you have nowhere to go, we're happy to help you out in the emergency room. So those are a couple of tips I have that can avoid any heat-related emergencies, but should you need us, dizziness, nausea, headache, chest pain, lightheadedness or passing out, or any of the above, or any concerns you might have, come on into the emergency department at Orange Regional. We're here for you. Thanks.